Hello everyone and welcome to another video and welcome to the 2020 Nissan Petrol Platinum. Now, the Platinum, the Nissan Petrol is one of the best. In fact, it is the king of the desert. But there is another equal competition that we have and that is the Toyota Land Cruiser. While both of these cars, the Nissan Petrol and the Land Cruiser are V8s, ah, there you go. Hello, how are you? How's how it going? are you? I'm good. So, sure. oh, that was really awkward. <laughs> yeah. Handshake, yeah. So, yes, so this car has been arranged by Gaurav from V8 DXB. First, go check out his channel and please make sure to subscribe so that we go. All of that is up from there. So, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, so we've got these two cars the best ones right now in the market for you which are this petrol v8 and the land cruiser v8 Correct. so i think both of these cars are based on the exact same stuff both of them have a v8 yes both of those both of these are considered as the king of the road roads but it's just a preference between the nissan or a toyota yeah it's about the choice whichever which one, would which one which suits your personality exactly. we would say yes more yeah. likely yeah so, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, both of them are V8. I keep mentioning how much power does this produce? Uh, 300 something? I have the specific number for mine. What's the number? It's 400 bhp. Okay. The Nissan Petrol. That's a good and number. And 560 newton meters of torque. That's amazing. And a 7 speed gearbox. What is your? Okay. So, I don't remember the horsepower number. It's alright. Which I'm going to pick up. We're going to put it on the screen. We're going to put it on the, put it on the screen. But yeah, so the same 7-speed transmission mm -hmm. and uh, I think one of the biggest things that this car has, which I think that doesn't, is something called as crawl control. Ah, okay. So crawl control, which is uh, one of the biggest... But there is a hill points. hold assist for my car. Yes, so hill hold assist, yes. Uh, there is. But what crawl control does is when you're stuck in sand mm -hmm. and when you really want to get out from the whole stuff. Okay. Very simple, you just put it on crawl control, set your speed mm -hmm. and it'll just going to get you out of that no problem whatsoever. So that is something where I think the petrol lacks. So you don't need but the skills to drive in the desert in that Because <laughs> yeah, this, so this requires is just going to go all the way. Drive in that. Exactly. So this is very automated. It's also for people that don't have a lot of off-road experience. Yeah. Similar Pretty to much the like us. So basically like us who don't have a lot of experience. We are still new. So similar to us. <laughs> uh, but then they can go ahead and uh, look at what's going on over here. So it's really but so these cars have pretty much advanced a lot in the, in the 2020s exactly. generation now. And you can see they've really come a long way. Long Both of way. these cars yes. now come with LED, LED headlights, chrome, chrome all around, everywhere, LED fog lamps. I mean, everything is Seven. pretty much similar. Oh, by the way, you've done quite a bit of off-roading. Yes. So as you can see, there's a bit of the car's a bit of a mess because I've been playing around with it a lot. Crawl uh, control, you mean? Crawl control. <laughs> <laughs> I see that you have something interesting below your number plate. Is that the adaptive cruise control? Yes, so this car comes with 360 degree camera system. So one of the camera is mounted here and there are two, three, three more cameras around. So you have the adaptive cruise control on this one nice. because of the, the cameras. Now both of these cars are very, very similar. And by similar, I mean very, very, very similar. It's just that it's the, the shape changes your <laughs> Otherwise, all right, let's see. LED tail lamps. 20 inch rims, check. Tow hook, check. Grab okay. handle, check. Chrome, because I know we need chrome. Yes, check. Roof rail, roof rail, yes, check. So pretty much similar in terms of all the oh, V8s, check. Seven seater, seven seats, seven seats, because I know a lot of people want a good uh, family. And yes. decent ground clearance, both the ground oh, clearance, like amazing. Like these cars are so good, by the way, off roading. And if you're planning on buying these cars just to use it in the city or just for the shopping, don't do that. Don't try just try these off roading and see how capable these cars are. Like you do, you don't even need special skills, by the way, exactly. to just do off roading. They can just cars. do it all around. Exactly. Crawl mode, crawl mode. My favorite crawl mode on this car is also, is also there. And ample amount of storage space as well that these cars oh. come with. So. You know, yeah, but there's a nickname, they say that. Can I just say how many liters of storage do I have? Go ahead, tell me. I have 460 liters of storage when the oh. seats are, all seven seats are upright. Okay. 1,413 liters when the seats are down, the third row wow. seats. And 2,300 something plus liters of smooth space when uh, the, the second row of seats are down. I think, I think even this car would have the similar. I'll one. tell you how much so storage space I have. It's a one bhk 
Oh, that's how much. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we keep all your furniture, your computer, your everything. Work. We drive studios that, on wheels. It's a studio on wheels. Yeah, very much. <laughs> So now Mitesh has not been inside the Land Cruiser yet, so yeah. it's going to be his first time inside the Land Cruiser. He has been driving the petrol, obviously. So let's see what his thoughts are about the car. Let's start oh, straight away, I see the color. I really like the color of these seats, by the way, because this this interior color is really good. The black and the, this dark brown color, along with this velvet sort of stitching in the middle, the quilted seats. And yeah, really, dude, when you get inside, there is a sense of occasion when you get in. So, have a check inside. Oh, yeah. oh, How do you this... like the uh, approach angle? Yeah, dude, very good. Yeah, I mean, even the seats are very comfortable. Surprising. And good visibility, yeah? Oh, visibility. Oh, dude, yeah. Like, the screen is massive in front of you. Oh, and the infotainment screen. I like the placement of it. It's very straightforward right in front of it's, your... Uh, it's very nice and it's so snappy. But it's a little restrictive. Like you can't set navigation when you're driving. You can't. It's, it's you're very never going to use that because anyways true. you're doing the dune bashing. <laughs> so these All features right. are okay for the passenger, not for us. Let and, me come from the and other again, side. Again, good Hold thing. On. Yes, again, good thing. Aircon controls are all physical buttons. You don't have physical on yours. I do have, oh, but okay. I love when the physical manufacturers give these. I keep talking about that in my videos also. Oh, that's a cool thing. This this shows you on the the. Real glass, the shows southwest, you, yeah. you know, wow, you, that yeah. is cool. So it's a digital mirror in it's that case. Mirror. Oh, that is pretty impressive. And then these these dials are pretty nicely made out here to select the different drive modes. Out here, straightforward, all the buttons, diff lock and traction control and the different modes. What my is the speed feature. button? So this is my favorite feature of the car. This is the crawl control. Okay. So you can press on the on and off button and that switches on the crawl control when you're on Ooh, four low. Nice. And you can yeah, set the speed yes. and it basically just walks you out of any situation pretty good and in terms of storage also it's not bad you have a two layer yes so wow it's and it's a cool it's a box, cool box oh, yes even you will see that in the other car also so it's a, so evenly matched these cars are <laughs> man i mean like there is literally nothing it's just the design of it which is different that's correct wow i mean oh even the gear stick wow nice it falls pretty much in place quite easily yeah huh? yeah it falls in place your hand and then there is this no chance well of going wrong. It's very big. Yeah. So you can rest your hand. Two people is can very easily rest their hand. Yeah, yeah. And rest. So it's really good. Yeah, but the quality of it is pretty nice. And uh, one good thing is you have a very big uh, sunroof also. Correct. Yeah. There is a little bit smaller one in my car. On the patrol. So and even again. even this soft touch materials. Oh yes. Yeah, really really good. Uh, everywhere. Yeah. Which is actually good because they've not cut down on the premium factor of the car. Exactly. You know, it's still nice and rugged, but it's a proper luxury. Yeah, when car. you sit inside, you of don't course. feel like it. Like it's meant to go off roading and all. Exactly. It's more like a limousine. <laughs> so we are in the Toyota Land Cruiser, and we are up for that special thing. What you are meant to do, the dune bashing. Dunes. Let's check it out. Although you've already done a lot of dune bashing, I'm guessing. Um, yeah. Condition of the car. Fair amount of dunes and sands and all of those things. So you're used to it. I'm no. used to it. I know the this car, car right now. Very I think one of the first things that I need to let everybody know is that whenever you're, you're taking these cars, which mm -hmm. a lot of people forget, yes. whenever you're taking these cars on the dunes, first and foremost, switch off your traction, traction control. Traction control. And the second thing is, if you're really getting serious about stuff, deflate. Deflate. And yes. if you're ever getting stuck and if you can't get out, first try to deflate the wheels. The wheels, yes. It'll just bring you out. Do not, no yeah, problem. try yeah. to. The worst thing that I see a lot of people do is that they just. Um, Keep driving, driving it. Oh, they just yeah, step yeah. on it and they it just digs you later in. on. If they are stuck, that just digs you in. The yeah. best way is not to then keep running. Instead, just get down, put a little bit of plank or something exactly. which you have, and then the go back. Out, yeah. Because you then end up digging the 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 wheels later exactly. into the sand. Oof, that was steep steep <laughs> so that's i think but, one, of, one of the good things about this car is but i see a lot of control from the car yeah it's like, very yeah. well balanced like for very, example yeah. try even if i try to do this yeah oh. it is able to do that yeah see it's very well balanced it's able to yeah. put everything wow of course now i beast it because i'm on top yeah. of the dune but uh, it's still able to pull things off but it is you can see the control happening yeah. around like you know the car is always trying to so can figure see. itself out yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. Uh, you can see that it's stuck. Yeah. Nothing's being done to the car. Yeah, you can actually see if the car is actually spinning its, its wheel or yeah. 
just you know trying to dig itself inside only and on the and on and inside over here it has a steering angle sensor ah okay so wow. it tells you uh, where it is that your wheels are pointed Ooh, nice and then that will give you a nice amount of uh, intel on where you're going ah okay wow so like obviously no pro tuners but uh, we are in there again we just keep we just keep playing around with yeah we just around. played for the fun but then this is what you can do it you can do cars. all of these it's things. not difficult by yeah. the way and like if you look at this soft sand over here like when yeah. you look at this you're like gonna get struck yeah but, but you don't cruisers and you're just driving through and just Easy. Track, traction control off a little bit of power and That's there you it. go goes it slow. just goes on it yeah so I think that's one of the good things about these cars is they're so underappreciated. They're, yeah, the, the thing is about the cars these days are so good. Like yeah. they know everything. Like you don't have, you just get in, put, like the car just needs to know what you're going to do. Exactly. That's it. Like if you're going into the sand, make sure the car knows you're going into the sand. Right. And Once then, you let it know that, buddy, we're going to the sand, yeah, it's sorted. That's the car right. will figure it out. Okay, leave that, all the technical bits to me. To us, you yeah. drive. <laughs> and do whatever you want to and that's the good thing with these cars yeah which is what i love about the uh, because though the cars have evolved but in these cars there is not much of electrical control still like you know you find in modern Correct. day cars yeah, where there's too so much of much electronic diff lock and things going on where take the fun away it just takes driving. away all the, the the essential fun of driving whereas in this you don't doesn't pretty good but yeah. the control is so good Really impressed with this. Like, feels just at home. Yeah, and as we yeah said before, like these cars, like are so. Oh, yeah, that was hard. So the brakes worked fine. <laughs> now we know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Okay, we are digging in, but this is all under control. We're doing a control conditions. Control. control to just dis demonstrate you the the capabilities. Control, control. Are we stuck? Yes. So for the first time, you'll be happy because you're stuck. Purposefully stuck. Purposefully stuck. I'm going to put it to neutral. I'm going to put it to four wheel low. Once it's on four wheel low, I switch on the crawl control mode. Okay. And then I put it on drive. One second, four wheel low, crawl control on. Okay, once the crawl control is on, you can set the speed using the dial. So now, I have it set it at speed 2. All you have to do now is let go of the brake and just keep doing left and right. And the car will just get itself out on its own. Watch that. So that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this comparison video and a sort of different style of video between, which is a collaboration between me and Gaurav from V8 DXV. Make sure to check out his channel as well. And if you guys want to see more of these comparison videos, then make sure to comment in the in the in the comment below and let us know so that we know what sort of cars you want to see us doing a comparison of. Anyways, give it a thumbs up if you like this video. If you want to actually subscribe to my channel, then click here. And if you want to watch more videos, then click here. Anyways, it's super hot and I'm going to chill for a while. And then see you in the next video. Bye-bye.